What is going on guys, Adam here at Hound of Hell Gaming. So this will be part two of our playthrough of the game Sommer. This was requested by my soul to take over on uh, Twitter or X, however you'd like to call it. Um, I, uh, this is going to be my opinion on how the game is. Go and check out part one if you're interested in that. It'll be much more in depth than this one. Uh, and without further ado, let's get into the action. So the tension and the atmosphere while this robot thing is hunting me down is absolutely immense. Like, if this is your sort of game, you know, being chased by a force that you can't, you can't fight off, you can't beat, you've got no weapons, this is doing a very good job of building the atmosphere and tension. Let's get this lever pulled and let's leg it, guys. Yeah, that door closed. Fast. I have no idea what damage these things can do and I really don't want to find out. decided to leave Amy and Saru and Kalsanka to execute the automatization process. And I bet they're thrilled about it. I just wanted to let you know we're on schedule and I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, I'll pass on the ball check. Jonesy, I'll be going for an evac, am I right? It will do. I wanted to introduce you to Amy and Cal. They'll be doing the talking as soon as I leave for Theta. Say hello. Hey, Theta. Hello. Guys, I'm Peter Stress, doing dispatcher of data. Just let me know if there's anything I can do to help. I suppose that's it. I'll see you real soon. When we arrive. All right, Johnson, have a safe trip. Hey, hello, data? Epsilon, what's up? We could really use direct contact with Heather. Uh, I mean, uh, site service engineer Wolchek. Direct links are almost impossible to establish. The Lumar relays are basically junk at this point. You can send messages via the comm center, and if you want, I'm pretty much always here, ready to relay anything by hand. I, I know it's a shitty system, but it's all that works right now. All right, we just have to make do. Catch you later. Hello? Peter, was it? Good. I'm here. What's up? We're getting out. I just want to tell you that I'm going to seal the comm center now, so this is definitely the last you'll hear from us. If we don't show up in the next couple of hours, in the cavalry. Hang on, what's happening? It's still the same plan, right? Yeah, we'll head for the shuttle and ride it directly to Theta. Okay, good. I'll rally the troops for a welcome party. <laughs> what I like to hear. There's another uh, chocolate starfish to press. <laughs>
Hey, are you there? I found the dome ceiling. Oh, that's better. Simon, was it? Uh, Jared, Simon Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? I was hoping you'd have some answers. I probably have some. What do you want to know? Where do you even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? Well, you're at Upsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No, I mean, where did you work at Pathos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. Have you seen any people? Like staff or field technicians? Only robots. Crazy ones. Except for one. I think he said his name was Carl. He was okay, but... I'm... I'm pretty sure I accidentally killed him by turning off the power. Oh. Well, you know, robots don't feel anything, so... Yeah. What was that? No! What's going on? I think this place is about to collapse! What do I do? Simon, come to Lambda! Uh, how, how do I get there? So I'm really starting to get the impression that that Catherine isn't a real person, that she's AI. I'm starting to get the impression that we might all be AI that's alive down here. There's been no word on them sealing the doors like we heard earlier on in the first episode. So... Were we sealed down here because we were dangerous? I'm not sure. What? What the hell? How is this possible? Uh, this is... This is insane! Lambda. I cannot express how, how, how can I put it? I literally cannot express it. I can't express how, Jesus Christ, what are words? How vast this, this area feels. Like you really do get a sense that you're in the ocean. You're in the middle of nowhere. There's nowhere for you to run. You know, we're out of that building. So you would think that was the ultimate plan to escape. But look up. We can't even see the sun shining through. That's how deep we are into the ocean. It's crazy. They've done a good job of capturing that. I'll give them that. Hold on, you, you got the 
power automated, right? The, the plant is safe. We need the power to keep the sites running. Oh, well, fuck the power! Fuck you, Strasty! The machines killed Carl! Ah, oh, shit. All right, um, calm down. It'll, it'll be okay. Can you get back to Theta? Yeah. I think so. I'll head for the shuttle, the Ox. Good luck, Amy. I'm rooting for you. just very weird that sounds like a fractured mind of a person that woke up in the body of a robot that sounds like how this game's making me feel this poor little guy's stuck can we rescue him will it be worth it will it try and kill us let's find out I think we made a friend with this little guy, you know, following me everywhere. Not got the uh, the red light, which I assume is uh, an attack mode or something like that, like the other ones do. Made a little friend, got a little pet. What's up, little buddy? Has our good deed for the day done? And he, uh, he's paid it back in kind. I'm at the shuttle, but it's not looking 
be good. The lights flicker like mad. I think the power regulator is broken. I have to fix it. I don't want to get stranded halfway to Theta. What was that? I can't hear you. Don't worry. I'll fix it. Somehow. Jesus Christ! What the hell? This area has such like a alien isolation vibe to it. It's very, very creepy. I just can't get over not having a weapon. I don't think I'll ever be able to play a game that doesn't have a weapon and actually enjoy it. Not including things like sports games and stuff like that, obviously. Fixing the power. I was going to Theta. Anything I can do? If you see Masters or Holland, tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help. Now I know what this is gonna do. This is gonna kill. But Are you okay? there's no other way. I can't progress without doing it. I can't put it back in, I don't think. So it is what it is. It won't let her die. Well, there you go. You're welcome.
Traveling under the ocean and a train. I've done it from the UK to France. It was not fun. Oh, 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 what's that? Bye, this is going to end, brother. Bye. Catherine, is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you alright? The system says the section is sealed for a suspected hull breach. No, I'm not alright. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Well, you're really out of place, aren't you? Look, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. What is that? What's going on out there? I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. Catherine? You okay? So taking no damage from that is a bit of a... bit of a clue for me. I, uh... I feel like we're we're a robot or something now. We're definitely, definitely not human anymore. <coughs> Oi, chica! This one wants the whole fist. It's not happy with the finger. Disgusting.
again. Fine land though, right? I mean, really, how big can this ocean be? Just, I imagine it's so easy to get lost out here. I wouldn't say I know where I'm going to be perfectly honest. I'm pretty lost as it is. Um, but like, you know what I mean? Get lost and literally not find your way. You can't see more than a few meters in front of you.
be Lambda. Or Catherine is. Found our way to another creepy place. Catherine? Be quiet! Don't look at it! What the hell was that thing? Don't look at it, she said. No problem, I'll just carry on like nothing happened. That was freaky. You too. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. Can't take any more. This is... Everything's fucked. I give up. There's nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. You sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way. But I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I... I don't... You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I... I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay. Focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. I just need to access the computer. Oh, is that an Omnitool you're carrying? Oh, the door opener? I picked it up at Upsilon where I woke up. I don't have to do. Plug it into the terminal. Sure, whatever. When the Omnitool is loaded, just plug my Cortex chip into the tool. What's a Cortex chip? It will be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Come on, I just need you to do this one thing for me. Sure, whatever. The Omnitool is ready now. Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Why does a robot chip fit a door open? It's standardized connection. Uh, Catherine? All right. Let's give this a try. Yeah, I knew she wasn't going to be real. Oh, I'm glad I was right about that. Shutting down, help you. Have a nice day. Just pretty much anything will fit. Oh, this feels weird. I'm in the Omnitool? Thanks. So, what's the project about? My project? Oh, well, I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save it from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly it became very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess 
She could even still be alive. Uh, weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, finally. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Kath. Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. What was it you said before? You're from Toronto? Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan and suddenly here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How? Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Whoa. Check the computer in the other room. Just check the computer? Yes, look for anything about the Ark. Is this from inside the Ark? Yes. That's some early renders of the world inside. Looks a whole lot comfier than this place. I'm expecting instant death here. Oh, maybe not. I found a tracker homed in on the Ark. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It's doing something at least. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Please let it be safe. cool to do that survey to be honest it kind of uh kind of lets the game know where you're up to what you've understood what you haven't understood and i wonder what i got right and what i got wrong from there Thank <laughs> you. 
found it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh, no. It's on Earth. It's so close to Phi, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. That's not much to build a future. If we got to it, could, could we get on the Ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. I'll take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. Come on, Catherine. This is what you wanted to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't take the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray that Dunbat's still working. Okay, so we go to Theta. I don't know, it's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What else is there to do? Maybe there's still a working shuttle train that can take us to Theta. I doubt it. Just have a look around. Push comes to shove, I'll walk there. Okay then, I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. I won't forget. Can't make any sense of it. You say something? Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. Keep at it. I'd really like to know who thought sending a Canadian to the bottom of the sea was a good idea. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. So I think this might be the end of the road for me. Um, I've reached a point where I'm about to come off the game. This whole thing was done in one playthrough, uh, the first episode and this one. Um, and I just don't see myself being pulled, drawn back. Like I don't think I'm going to go away and really think about this game. And that, that sucks to me. Like it's, I've not disliked it, I've not hated it. It just it's just not my sort of game. It's not action packed. I like to be very, very busy at all times, so it is what it is. Thanks very much for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. See you later.